Why is it so hard to find a good food storage bag? Americans spent $1.6 billion on plastic storage bags last year alone. And in a way, I can see why. Because if you're like me, you've gone through several brands just trying to hit one that does a great job so you can stop thinking about it. Too many food storage bags leak, they rip, they're a pain to seal. We want a strong leak-proof bag that closes right up and keeps food fresher and longer. That shouldn't be too much to ask. And what's the deal with storage bags and freezer bags? Last time we looked into this, we found the difference wasn't much. But in general, freezer bags are thicker, which helps keep food fresher a little bit longer. We don't want to have to buy a million different bags, so we decided we'd focus on freezer bags. And then there's the wacky features. We found ones that close with zipper channels and ones that close with plastic sliders. Bags that have fold-out bottoms to give you extra space. And bags made of two layers of plastic that say they protect food a little bit better in the freezer. Which of these choices pay off in a better bag? We decided to focus on gallon-sized bags, because as home cooks, that's the size we use most for storing everything from meat to vegetables, cookie dough to pizza sauce, whether it's in the fridge or in the freezer. And then we looked at prices. We found you could pay anywhere from about 12 cents a bag all the way up to a totally insane 49 cents per bag. Those had better be some amazing plastic bags. And we included supermarket brands, but also some bags sold to restaurants in bulk online to maybe save a little money. And we even ran across a few environmentally friendly plastic bags that claimed to biodegrade faster than regular plastic. In the end, we found nine different bags, and we put them through a whole range of tests. First and foremost, that bag had better be easy to use. You should not need extra hands to prop up a bag when you're filling it or have to guess if it's really closed. And bags should fit plenty of food and still be easy to seal up. We packed each bag with four pounds of great big carrots, and while none of them let the carrots poke holes in the plastic, a few of these gave us more trouble than others. The flimsy layers of plastic on that two-layer bag were really hard to handle. The bag with the fold-out bottom, that was great. We threw the carrots right in. No sweat. Then we filled each bag with a measured gallon of water, just to check if they were really gallon-sized, and they were, but for some this was just barely true. Again, that floppy bag was really terrible to hold and fill with water. And when we flipped over the top, which is a really handy trick to prop open a bag for filling, the side seams instantly ripped down to the zipper, showing us just how poorly constructed that bag is. And then it actually leaked at the zipper when it was full. Now, in fact, five of the nine bags leaked a couple of drops or a whole puddle, and that's really bad news. A bag that leaks is just no good. Think about it. You never want to find raw meat that's been leaking juices all over the fridge. And even more innocuous liquids should stay in the bag, not all over you and the counters or any place else. We shook all the bags to see if the water would stay in, and plenty of them blew open. They dumped all the water right out. We even pushed bags of tomato sauce off the counter. It made a gigantic mess, sauce everywhere, explosions. But a couple of our front runners bounced without breaking, and they didn't spill a drop. Those are tough bags. Now, while you don't want anything leaking out, you also want a bag that doesn't let anything in. An airtight bag really protects food from dehydrating and oxidizing in the freezer. That's how you get freezer burn, where the food looks grayish and it tastes terrible, and the bag gets full of what looks like snow. We tested these bags for two months in the freezer. We froze a dozen balls of chocolate chip cookie dough, four bone-in pork chops, half a loaf of sandwich bread, and two pounds of hamburger patties. Some of the bags started showing snow and ice right away. Other ones got a little icy and then leveled off and stayed the same. In a few of these, the food looked like we just put it in the freezer, even after two months. To help explain what happened, we measured the bag's thickness, and we had a lab test their plastic for how protective it was, measuring each bag's water vapor transmission rate. But we also did a more important test right here in the kitchen. We measured desiccant packs, those little packets that you find in product packaging to absorb moisture. We sealed them up in the bags, then we submerged the bags underwater for a week. Then we took them out and weighed them again. Two of these bags literally tanked. The desiccants were floating in water inside the bags. And guess what? Those two bags are also the worst at letting in freezer burn and snow in our food. Several more let in a little bit of moisture, and a rare few barely gained even a tenth of a gram of moisture after a whole week underwater. And when we added up all the results, we had a winner. Our favorite bag was easy to handle, didn't leak a drop, and it kept food fresher longer in the freezer. It's called the Ziploc brand Double Zipper Gallon Freezer Bag. And guess what? It's even the cheapest bag in the lineup, and it's available in supermarkets everywhere. It has a double zipper for extra protection at the seal, where most bags failed. 
and this thicker collar of plastic around the top gave it extra structure for filling and extra protection in tough environments like the freezer. If you'd like to order in bulk, the LK Plastic Ziploc Heavyweight Bag was also a winner. It's the thickest bag in the lineup, which made it especially tough and also easy to handle. This bag is 12 cents a piece, plus shipping. And for a green choice, we recommend the Green & Pack Food Storage Freezer Gallon Bag. It's 40 cents per bag, but it performs well and it's eco-friendly.